Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Damrio. Welcome to Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Uh, this game, I guess, well, not a guess, but really this game was requested the most, and I felt like yeah, this game could fit the channel really well. Granted, we're also playing Elder Scrolls 5 Oblivion, and in this one, it's pretty much like Skyrim, except slightly, actually, very different. <laughs> it's a very old, it's older game, but I got several mods to keep it refreshing, keep it more light keep it a little better and i'll be getting more and more mods for this game it's difficult to install mods for this because if you install one mod and it goes incorrectly you have to uninstall everything but i'm trying to be as safe as i possibly can with it i got a bunch of um programs for it that make sure that the mods are stable and we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new game a brand new story a brand new character so let's go ahead and begin i'm actually very excited for this it's gonna be a brand new character that we never done or never meant Skyrim, which means we have room to work with and just to kind of play around with. It's going to be really cool. I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of Last Seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the Third Era, and the final hours of my life. Except we're not in prison, we're actually on a boat. Which is something that I installed. It's a, like a it's a new, it's an adaptation of the Skyrim mod. Well, actually, I think this one came first, before the Skyrim one. This one, you start on a boat, you choose kind of your background, and then you go. You don't have to follow the main quest. You get a quest uh, for the main story if you wanna, but you don't have to follow it. Which we're probably not gonna do. We're probably just gonna have fun with it. Gonna join like a, a fighter's guild or mage's guild or whatever. Maybe thieves guild, I don't know. And we're just gonna go with it. And if I have more things I want to put up, then I'll put up. So, we're gonna make a brand new character. I'm thinking... By the way, also, I got the mod that adds better faces. So the faces look a little more, I guess, photogenic, a little better. Khajiit definitely looks a lot better. It's not like Skyrim's Khajiit or Skyrim's faces, but it certainly look a lot better. This orc actually looks more goblin than orc. Nevertheless, I'll go with it. Let's see. We could go with a dark elf. I like the eyes. They look kind of cool. Uh, Argonian. We, well, I, I don't think we should make another Argonian for sure. Uh, because we already have one Argonian. What's the point of having another? I mean, unless it's like have the request or something. Nevertheless, let's go ahead. Uh, we could make a... Maybe a dark elf. Let's make like a dark elf assassin person. Well, actually, no. We already have somebody light class. You know what I never tried, actually? I know Khajiit have an ability where they can just like use the fist to fight and use hand-to-hand. -hand. I'm thinking we could make a monk. Somebody who uses hand-to-hand -hand and bows. What do you think about it? I think it'd be actually kind of cool. Alright, let's go ahead and make that. Face, uh, I usually just like to randomize, usually. The random face you get are sometimes pretty damn good. Like that, that actually looks really cool, I like that. I mean, maybe the hair could be changed a little bit. Let's see, hair, the mane we could change to common mane, or just common. Braids, dreads, uh, headband, and back to mane. We can make the mane longer, 
I think that'd be actually kind of cool. Make the main longer. Actually, common. What about common? Make it kind of short, kind of long. Yeah, I feel like that'd be kind of weird. Let's go. <laughs> let's just go with the main. Maybe like a a small main. Yeah, there we go. Uh no, I don't really like the t the top that it has. Like the weird top, like this kind of thing. I don't know. It looks very. It looks kind of weird to me. Let's go ahead and make it a little longer. There we go. That'd be pretty good. Uh, the eyes, we can make Khajiit, we can make Ocean, Gold, Hunter, Bloodlust. I feel like maybe uh, Bloodlust would be kind of cool. Let's see, where's that at? There we go, Bloodlust. Bloodlust eyes would be really cool. Maybe, hmm, I'm thinking maybe just... I don't want to make the entire episode all about just like... The... Uh, like customization of the character, but I do want to add some kind of characteristic to this character so that we can actually like start off with something. Alright, this is actually pretty good, pretty good. Age, we can make him... We can make him age, actually. So we can make him... Well, we could make him... Uh, I think it would be kind of cool if they actually made him age throughout the... Like, throughout the time. So he's gonna start a little young. Complexion... Eh, it's a pretty good complexion for now, I think. It's pretty good. He, he seems... <laughs> he seems very angry. Why, why just make him, like, an angry character or something? He must first enter a name. Oh, God, a name. Something that's lore-friendly. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think I might just have to, like, look up, like, a lore-friendly Khajiit names. <laughs> I wish you guys could actually, like, I wish I was actually live-streaming this so I could actually get some kind of feedback for, like, what could happen for, like, this character. But, eh, YouTube is unlimited to this point. Um, Johan. There we go. We can go with Johan. There we go. Out of Han. There we go. Johan. Uh, let me go. Let me just... Oh. There we go. Uh, the mod that I have actually allows me to use, like, arrow keys and stuff to move around. And actually get to see him. He kind of looks fat. <laughs> he looks a little fat, honestly. I think maybe we could make his head a little bit bigger. Uh, let me see. Face, shape. Uh, let's see, can we just do head in general? Uh, let's see, make him a little more wide. There we go. That's a bit a lot better. Yeah, there we go. And now he won't look uh, unproportional. Or sort of proportional. <laughs> Alright, let's go with that. Johan. And we're going to go ahead and decide his fate. Are you sure you want? Yep. We're gonna be a Khajiit. Let me adjust the running. There we go. And now we got Johan. He's kind of fat. <laughs> I need to see if I can add like a body mod that can actually change the size of, size of the body. For sure. I know I can do it in Skyrim, which I really should. Like, eventually make the uh, little adventure Argonian maybe buff. When he grows up or something. Alright, birth sign. I remember these things. Okay, birth sign. Uh, What should we go with? We want to go with something that will actually like, benefit us. Um, maybe Thief. The Thief ability grants a 10-point bonus to your agility, speed, and luck attributes. The Astronaut is pretty good. I mean, we have 50 spell absorption to recharge our Magicka. It's kind of nice. Um, I know the one that I really liked was the Shadow, which uh, allowed us to become invisible for 60 seconds once a day. And that was kind of cool to use at the time. Steed, 20 speed attribute. Nah, I don't think we really need a Steed. Hmm. I'm thinking what we could do actually is just go with the thief. Just make it a little easier. Yep. And then specialization. Now this is where we can actually choose what we want to do. Now I know they have a monk in here. Uh, but let's see. Monk has security, sneak, acrobatics, marksman, alteration, hand-to-hand -hand athletics. Actually that's not that bad. Actually that's not bad at all. Uh, favorite attributes, agility and willpower. That's actually not too bad. You know, I kind of would like to uh, make a monk. I think it'd be kind of cool. Just focus on hand-to-hand -hand and bones and uh, arrows and stuff. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Uh, but I guess maybe light armor or heavy armor would be pretty good. I don't know. Let's go with done. I sure you want to be a monk? Yep. Well, we could be a mage. I don't know. It's this is really this is actually really difficult to think about. Uh, like what character do you want to be? You know, let's just make custom class. Want to focus on um. A little bit more magic. Let's do that. Uh, let's do agility and intelligence. Yeah, let's do that. Acrobatics and uh, let's see, athletics. Of course, it will be easiest thing to do. I think would be cool to actually do. Um, let's see, destruction, uh, hand to hand. Hmm, maybe light armor. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Yeah, let's do light armor, uh, speechcraft, and maybe security. There we go. Create a new class. Yeah, let's call him Adventure. Whatever. Create Adventure class. Yep. And it looks exactly like a monk. 
pretty much. <laughs> Except this one has specialization magic and Monk has uh, stealth. I guess we could be more... Nah, let's, let's just go with stealth. I think it'd be pretty good. Now, nah, whatever. We create a class. Might as well go with it. <laughs> I keep flipping back and forth. I'm sorry. I right, actually want to be enriched. Yes. All right. Now, we're going to choose a background. What is your social status? We could make it a... Let's see. We could make it an academic. I mean, that'd be kind of cool to be an academic and go to... Um, I guess... Set up a story is like he's going away from home. Uh, he's an academic, but he doesn't want to live with his uh, live with his family for now or something. Or I don't know, maybe he wants to explore the world. Maybe you could make him an explorer or something. But at the same time, if he's going to be going into hand to hand, I guess. Well, actually, no, hand to hand will make sense because I mean he doesn't really prefer weapons. He just has to fist fight. Um, we could make him an academic. Okay, what is your primary area of research? Battle magic, theoretical magic, Tamriel history, danger worshippers, necromatic practices. Hmm, battle magic, battle magic would be kind of cool. Maybe danger worshipping, that'd be cool. What is your financial situation? Ah, uh, let's say he is comfortably off, wealthy. I don't know, wealthy, let's go with wealthy. What's your point of entry to Cyrodiil? Anvil. We're not going to any war. Okay, are you affected by any of the found diseases? Now, this is going to be quite, quite necessary in the story. Because if you apply disease, I know for sure advanced polyhemophilia and poly, uh, porphyric hemophilia is vampirism. I know that for sure. But the rest, like chanthrax blight, uh, serpiginous dementia, and black heart blight, that's going to be quite difficult. Do you want to add the trouble of the diseases? I think we do. I think we really do. Let's go with Chanthrax Blight. That's what I haven't tried out yet. Okay. Now perhaps I better check my immigration forms are correct and then get some rest before docking. Alright then. Let's go ahead and get some rest. And this is where we we'll begin our story of jo Johan. Yeah, there we go. Johan, the Khajiit, entering Cyrodiil, pretty much. And we're going to be starting off in Anvil. In a night, I had a strange little Letter, vivid dream. The emperor flees through darkness passages. Oh, through darkened passages. Uh, suddenly ambushes strike. The emperor falls. He assassins pluck an amulet. I get a bunch of stuff going on here. The emperor's com um, yeah, but he's set upon by the emperor's companions. The amulet drops and grabbed by a rat, which scurries away. With his dying breath, the emperor looks towards me and gasps out, Joffrey in coral. Uh, this dream does not bode well. Perhaps I should examine the sewers to see whether there's any truth to it. First, though, I should retrieve my belongings from the nearby sack. Annoying I really should. Hello. Jesus. Wow, I immediately come here and it's like, annoying Hello. creature. Hello. Hi. Go take <laughs> Good. I'm hungry. These guys sound the same. Absolutely the same. <laughs> the one thing in this game is I wish people would have more voice actors. I don't know. I was trying to find mods to actually add more voices and as far as I know there are none at the moment. But whatever. Let's go ahead and grab all this. And we have 1k gold from the rich parents since we're so wealthy. Let's go ahead and put on the I guess the wealthy clothing that we have. Um that's do yeah there we go. That's pretty good. Just have the the hood or whatever. Silver dagger that's pretty good. Actually no silver dagger. And then abilities. Okay, so what do we get? We get I Fear, which demoralizes up to level 25 uh, for 30 seconds on target. So that's kind of cool. We can fear targets with, I guess, our disease. Eye of the Night is our racial. It means we can see it at night. It gets a little better. We get, like, blue night vision. It's kind of cool. Cold Touch, Flare, Heal Minor Wounds, and Shocking Touch. So that's what we get. What about any passes that we get? There we go. So with the disease that we have... Uh, we have Disease, Chant Chanthrax Blight, which drains our speed by 10, and drains Agility by 10, which is not even good for being a monk. So we are going to be having a really hard time. We got 45 Luck, 45 Speed, and 45 Agility, though, from Thief. So Speed and Agility, we have this added, and then Drain. So only thing we have is 45 Luck. God damn it. This is going to suck. This is not going to be too fun. Whatever. Whatever. <coughs> I really need to get some water or something. Alright, so, now that I'm here, maybe, One more coin, and I can get a pair of shoes. the new faces look amazing. Have a coin, beggar. Thank you, kind sir. There we go. 
And we are really wealthy. I'm not even kidding you. Like, we have uh, 1699 gold. That's pretty good. That's honestly pretty good. So the first thing we probably should do, I am still yet to install, install a lot of mods, but really, let's just get used to this place. Good to see you too. Hi. So welcoming. I want to get used to this place. We got the uh, we got the lighthouse. We got a boat. What's this boat going to? This is a travesty. A complete and utter travesty. The crystal ball is just sitting there in the hold, but I'll be damned if I'm going back on board. And nobody will help me. Nobody. Not with those spirits roaming the decks. I don't suppose you'll help me. No, of course you won't. Um, actually, I'd be glad to help. Sure. I guess. I don't know. I mean, it has to do something with the spirits, and since we're a scholar, we probably are curious about this. So, why not help her out? Of course you can. Nobody ever wants to help. That's the... Wait. Did you actually say you'd help me? Yeah. Oh, how wonderful. I can't thank you enough. I've been going out of my mind ever since my crew was murdered. This is my ship, you see. The Serpent's Wake. I hired the crew to sail to Somerset Isle to retrieve a family heirloom. My mother's crystal ball. They made the journey and arrived back all right. But then, someone murdered them. All of them. Now their spirits are haunting the ship. The crystal ball is in a chest in the ship's hold, but I can't get to it. I made it as far as the captain's cabin, but the spirits nearly killed me. Get the crystal ball and return it to me here, and I'll make it worth your trouble. Here, you'll need this key. Thank you so much. I love her high look, her nice looking face and everything. But still, this is not a mission for us, I don't think. Well, I mean, I'll attempt it, why not? Let's go ahead and make our first save. I got all these characters I've been trying out and stuff. So we got our first save. Let's go in here. Door open with Serpent's Wake. Let's get our Crystal Orb. 